All right, thanks, Corey. We are going to switch gears here. We're joined by Greg Remingay once again for some more free legal advice. Thanks for joining us once again. Thank you. Um, over the past couple of weeks, we've been discussing um, the kind of the legal process that people have to right. go through and why they don't necessarily, they aren't just uh, automatically going to get the money for the damages uh, that were caused in an accident. Right. Um, and today, we're going to discuss why maybe getting some uh, service from you would help them in this process. Well, everything that I've explained makes this sound like this is an overwhelming, very difficult process, and in a lot of ways it is. That's why you need somebody like me that does speak the attorney's language, mm. the insurance company language. When the insurance company tells us something, we understand what they're meaning by that when they're trying to mislead the injured person using that same phrase. We can understand those things. Okay. We can also, a lot of it is really just holding the hand for a while. We need to help you get the medical care you need. We've talked about that over and over again. The first priority has to be that you get the medical treatment you need so that you can get as well as you possibly can so that we know what injuries were caused by the accident. We can help you get that by maybe directing you on a way to talk to your doctor, directing you some questions you can ask your doctor, being a feed board so that you can bounce things off of us and we can help kind of direct you to get the medical treatment you need. All right, and not only the, the medical treatment, that's obviously the first and most important right. step in an injury uh, case like that, but then the legal process after that as well, correct? Right. As we're doing that, we can start looking at the accident itself. How do we prove that the accident was the other person's fault? Mm. There are some details there that a person may skip or may not know about that we can hold your hand and help get that information while we're waiting for you to heal. Then we can help you prepare a settlement demand that fits with the requirements of what the insurance company is looking for and fits into what we would have to prove at trial so that we can get you the best settlement we can. Then we can help advise you as to whether a settlement is appropriate or whether we need to take this to trial and start directing you towards going to trial. But there's a lot of details in there that can be overwhelming if you try to do it on your own. Yeah, and certainly most laymen, I guess in general, would probably overlook at least something that may be costly if they were to go to trial. Some of the th little things that they might overlook might be critical and might end up ruining the whole case. Yeah, so absolutely. That's what an attorney can do for you up to the point that you decide you want to go to trial. And then we don't have to talk about what happens at trial. <laughs> absolutely. You need an attorney for that. <laughs> That's right. All right. Thanks so much, Greg. If you have any questions for Greg, feel free to give him a call right there at that phone number on your screen. And we will have your full forecast coming up right after this break. If you want Greg to answer one of your legal questions, visit krextv.com, click on Live in the Studio, and submit your question on the right side of the screen. Watch Greg's segment every Wednesday on News Channel 5 at noon.